Hello friends, this Laravel live table CRUD tutorial series using Ajax, in previous part we have seen how to fetch data from MYSQL table, and display on web page using Ajax in Laravel. And we have also seen how to make editable table column, now in next part we will see how to insert or add new data into MYSQL table using Ajax in Laravel from this live table. So here we can see on web page, HTML table with data, here first row is blank for insert new data by click on this add button. So we have go to live table.blade.php file, and here we have write division tag with id is equal to message, under this tag we will display success or validation error. After this here we have write to curly bracket, and between them we have write csrf field method for handle csrf issue. Now we have go to jQuery code, and here we have write variable token is equal to dollar with input name is equal to token with value method. Above we have called csrf field function, this function will make one hidden field with name is equal to underscore token. This code fetch value of that hidden field. And this field value has been used when we have post some data. Below this we have write dollar with document selector with on method. Under this method we have write click event with button id add. So when we have click on add button this block of code will execute. Under this we have write first name variable is equal to dollar with table column id first name with text method, this code will fetch value of first name table column, and store under first name variable. Below this we have write last name variable is equal to dollar with table column id last name with text method, this code will fetch value of last name table column, and store under last name variable. Now we have write if statement, and under condition we have write first name variable value is not equal to blank, and last name variable value is not equal to blank. This condition will check. If both or any one variable value is blank then it will execute else block of code. Under this block we have write, dollar with division tag id message with html method, under this method we have write message like both fields are required. But suppose, both variable has value then it will execute if block of code, under this block we have write ajax request. With first option url set to root function, under this function we have write live table dot add data method, here we have send request to add data method of live table controller. In second option we have write method, which we have set to post, here we have use post method for send data to server. In third option we have write data option, and in this option we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have send first name, last name, underscore token variable data has been sent to server. Lastly we have write success call back function, this function has been called if request completed successfully, and it will receive data from server. Under this function we have write dollar with division tag id message with html method, under this method we have write data variable, 
This code will display success message on web page. For display latest inserted data on web page, here we have called this fetch data function. This function will display latest inserted data on web page. Now we have go to live table controller, and here we have make add data method with request argument. This function will receive Ajax request for insert data. Under this method first we have write if statement, under condition we have write dollar request variable with Ajax method, if this function received Ajax request, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar data variable is equal to array, with first key first name with value get from dollar request variable with first name. In second key we have write last name, with value get from dollar request with last name, here we have store Ajax data under this dollar data variable. Below this we have write dollar ID variable is equal to database class with table method, under this method we have write sample table name, this method define table name. For insert data, here we have write insert method with dollar data variable, this method will insert data into sample table, and return ID which has been store under dollar ID variable. Now we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar ID variable value greater than zero, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write echo statement with message like data inserted, this message will be display on web page. Lastly we have to set root of this add data method, so we have go to web.php file of roots folder. Here we have write root class with post method with two argument, in first argument we have write slash live table slash add data, and in second argument we have write live table at the rate add data method. After this we have write name method, under this method, we have write live table dot add data, this is for Ajax request, so when this URL has been hit from Ajax request. Then it will called add data method of live table controller. Now we have check output in browser. Friends first we have refresh browser. After refresh of web page, we can see sample table data on web page in table format. In table we can see first row has been blank with add button. This for add new records in table. So we have directly click on add button. After click on add button, we have received alert pop up message like, both fields are required. Now in first name table column we have enter John, and in last name table column we have enter Smith, and after this we have click on add button. After click on add, we can see success message on web page, so this way we can insert or add new record from this live table using Ajax in Laravel without refresh of web page. Now in next part we will discuss to update, or edit existing live table records in Laravel using Ajax. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, Please comment your query or input in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. 
If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.